Hey everybody, it is Michaelville here with another video, and in today's video, we will be celebrating the two-year anniversary of being on YouTube. That's right, guys. It's been two years. I've been on YouTube for two years. Now, for the people that do watch me when I post videos, you're probably... That's awesome, and then you'll probably also be like, well, you know, you don't have that many subscribers, which is true. I don't, but I do have some pretty nice subscribers, and you guys that do watch me every day, every time I post a video, you guys really show some great support for what I do when I do post videos. And, you know, that's okay, you know, and really... I wish I had more subscribers, but at the same time, my videos are fine how they are, and really I'm just posting what I do in my life. So, you know, if people don't like that, I guess they don't like that, but for the people that do watch my videos, thank you so, so much. Now, last year, I did a video kind of like this where I watch my first ever video I posted but since I did that last year for my one year anniversary this year I'm gonna just talk about everything that's happened over the this year of being on YouTube and things I've talked about in videos things I've done in videos and the biggest the biggest things I've done this year and yeah and then I'll talk about too what I'm planning on doing for the next year of being on YouTube so let's get right into it and now First thing I'm just going to say right now is that you're seeing me right now and you're like, I got this fancy thing behind me, you know, happy anniversary and stuff. Well, that is a green screen. Finally got like a nice green screen going on. I did it something sort of like this last year where I had a green screen type thing, but it was more I just edited it on after the fact of posting the video or not posting the video but after actually filming it I just added it into the video but this year I actually have a green screen and it's amazing so now I can do this behind me I think it's great now let's get in to the real video okay we're gonna start off this video pretty much um, we're talking about this house right here. If you watch my videos, you would know this house is located in the Rocky Mountains in Wyoming. And it's where me and Michael Johnson, my best friend, you know, well, one of my best friends, Michael Johnson. Well, me and him went to stay when we went camping. <laughs> and this was a huge thing on my channel for a couple of days. And it's also where I got shot. No, I didn't talk about that that much because I didn't really want to. But yeah, you guys probably don't look look at me and like, mm, you got shot, what? Yeah, I got shot when me and Michael Johnson went to the Rocky Mountains. And now you're like, what happened? You guys went hunting and you got shot? Like, did he shoot you or something? Or what? Um, well, um, when we went there, we it was pretty good. You know, we did videos too, a couple videos before, while me and him were just sitting in the office together, you know, talking and discussing what we were going to be doing there and stuff. We were doing podcasts too about it and other things too. And then we went there, and when we went there, you know, we got on a plane and stuff, flew there, and we were just enjoying it for the first little bit you know we went outside we went hunting the house was pretty nice everything was going pretty good and then one day we started seeing fire it was like it was like a campfire and then they had a cow skull in it and that was weird then because we started seeing that we got really suspicious and it was weird well, we ended up finding out it was a serial killer guy, and then that guy, that guy was on the private property where we were hunting. Well, he started coming after us, and I ended up getting shot. So, pretty long story, really. I kind of summed it up really quick, but if you want to really understand what actually happened, go watch those videos. Now, the next really biggest bit thing, I think, is that this year I started Bill Family Mudding. 
fun with friends. Now, obviously, you would also know that, that I did buy a house and had a, like, mud park. And because I had, like, not really, didn't really have a mud park, it more just had a big mud pit. And now I turned it into a mudding thing, uh, mud pit for people. And, yeah, it's actually been a pretty good business. And, um, you know, pretty good. And then another big thing is, you guys probably know, if you watch my videos a lot, that Jeff did leave for a few months because he went to California and he went all over the place to, he, he was doing a lot of stuff pretty much. For a little while he went to California, then he came back, and then there was a thing with, he left for a long time to go and get his sh uh, shop that he has, his sh um, Heart and King mechanic shop up and going because he's trying to get locations all over and he got a few now but he left to do that and then he came back and that was a huge day for me and stuff being able to see Jeff again because you know me and Jeff are really close and you know this over the summer and stuff I got a lot of new vehicles you know got a lot of new vehicles a lot of new design for the paint scheme on vehicles um, I also bought a new house in Lake Placid, which I don't live there yet. I don't know if I ever will. I just own it. I might end up having to rent it out because if you know, too, I am planning on... Tr I'm trying to get a... Buying homes to rent out. So that's a new business thing I'm trying to do for 2024. Um, you know, and I just really did get a lot of new vehicles. I did a lot of work to those vehicles, you know. Um, yeah. A lot of stuff went on during the summer, really, buying vehicles and designing them and driving them. And then there was, like, the 4th of July car show. And, you know, I always do that with Michael Johnson, and he goes nuts when we do that. And it's really fun to do it with him. He does a lot of crazy stuff when we do it. Um, then the summer, too, which I did a couple videos about this, too, is that I did the Fun Times Get on the Bus trip, which is, you know, a trip... That fun times does where you get on a bus and you get drove. We drive to some teenagers somewhere, and you know I drove the bus and we went to Miami this year, um, Miami, Florida, and we hung out there for a week and it was pretty fun. Um, went to like the Miami Zoo. It was pretty great. You know, also with saying that I bought a house in Lake Placid too. Uh, you know Jeff, he also bought a house in Lake Placid. And he bought a shop there, you know. And one of the biggest things I can tell you, though, that me and <laughs> Jeff have done this probably this year together, especially in Lake Placid, is when we put when we put our uh, Jeep Gladiators on his roof. Uh, you know, we just parked, we, we got him up on his roof and we parked him at the tip. It was awesome. But, you know. And then a uh, big thing for me at fun times, um was in October, um, which is actually October 15th, <laughs> it was happy National Bosses Day, you know, so National Bosses Day, um, and you know, I'm a boss at fun times, I own fun times, so I'm a boss, and it was really fun, everyone was just celebrating it, and it was a good time to hang out with some more of my employee, employees, you know, and stuff, and I had some a lot of fun with that. <laughs> they gave me a lot of gifts, and I was really thankful for that day. Um, and now the biggest thing, really, probably this whole year that's actually happened is me and Emma. Now, if you watch like one of my last videos, like it, I can't remember, it might have been my last video that I posted. It was a short, and um, me and Emma are getting married. <laughs> so yeah, that's it's a big thing. Me and Emma are getting married. Um, and, you know, we've known each other for two years, and if you don't know who she is, she is Ryder's mom, and if you don't know who Ryder is, then you don't watch my videos. So, if you don't know who they are, you probably should go watch a few of my videos to figure it out. So, I'm just gonna continue, like, at least you know Ryder. So, you know, Ryder, he's a kid that I, you, was babysitting, and, you know, teach him a lot of stuff, take him driving, and all kinds of stuff. Well, me and his mom have got really close, and then we started dating, actually, after we went on the bus trip, the fun times get on the bus trip, we hung out there a lot, we hung out on the beach at Miami, we, when we 
went to the zoo and stuff, went into the aquarium, we hung out, it was pretty fun, and now the biggest thing is we were getting married, and I asked her to marry me, if now it's been about a week, and got her amazing ring, and she said yes, and we're getting married, it's amazing, um, and I know a lot of you probably like, well, you're getting married, I would never think that would happen, but it really shows in the past year, a lot of things have happened, so, and a lot of the things I am really, really grateful for, and, yeah, now, <laughs> I've talked to, kind of tried to do a quick, 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 quick recap on what's happened this year, well, <laughs> now let's talk a little bit about what's going to happen now, continuing the channel. So, really for the rest of this year, it's going to be about the same. The rest of 2023, it's going to be about the same. I'm still going to work at fun times, stuff like that. Obviously, if you also watched some of my videos, you would also probably know that I am... This is my last year of work owning fun times. I'm not going to own fun times in 2024. I'm retiring from that because um, I want to do a few other things that I can have more fun doing. Um... You know, I'm going to continue to work for Broncos, the bus company that I work for right now. But, you know, I do work as a sub, so I don't have my own route, and I, it's, like, not as fun. I do want to, at, in 2024, I do want to get my own route. Um, probably not a too, like, really, really long one. Like, you know, I, when I used to work there, because I used to work there a few years ago before I quit, like, and then came back this <sighs> this year, that's another thing too, is like last year I got back, and I've just been a sub, but <laughs> now I'm, since I'm going to be leaving fun times, and you know, I could probably work there a little bit more, and I just would like to have my own route, don't really they'll want an old route, like a route like my old one, when I worked there, from New York to LA, and then LA to New York, I, it's a long route, it's a nice route, paid good and stuff, but it was long, and, you know, it took days. I, I'd rather have a route that, like, I can do in one day. You know, drive there and drive back in a day. That would be nice. Um, and now another big thing that I haven't really talked about, though, is I do want to get back with Phoenix Trucking. Um, and Phoenix Trucking, if you don't know, is actually the trucking company I worked for. Because, you know, if you watch my videos, you would know that I used to work for a trucking company. Before I actually went to busing, to bus driving with Broncos, I worked for a trucking company, Phoenix Trucking, and I want to go back there. Um, so I'm going to end up, in 2024, I'm going to try to go back to them and see how that goes. And I'm going to, if everything goes good, I'm going to be a trucker again. Don't know how long I'm going to do that. I just want to, because I really enjoyed it when I was doing it, just like bus driving. That's why I went back to that for a little bit and still do it, you know, um... And then truck driving, I really do want to get back into it because, you know, if you guys know me, I really love driving. That's why most of my videos are about buying a truck because I really, really love driving. It's just my thing. So I do want to get, you know, a truck, you know, semi and driving in. And that would be, I think, really fun for me. And... Obviously, I also want to try to get my business for renting homes going again. Or, well, it's, like I say going again because it's like I kind of started it, kind of. I got a few houses and then I just disappeared because then I got, I had to sell one. Now this one's a mud park. It's not that great. It <laughs> Things aren't working out that great for that. Don't know if that's going to end up continuing that project or if I'm just not, you know. I might try to do it, but I don't know if that project's going to continue pretty much. But, you know, hopefully I can continue that. It's just kind of hard right now. Um, yeah, and obviously, too, my life is going to change a lot <laughs> um, when I get married to Emma. So that's going to, a lot of things gonna ch are going to change there. Um, I will also say... Um, though because I told you now about the trucking and stuff that if I do get the job at Phoenix Trucking um 
in 2024 the videos are going to be different i'm going to be probably doing more like trucking vlogs um probably some bus vlogs too if i especially if i get my own route i'll do some bus vlogs and trucking vlogs and here and there i'll still do my normal um videos where i go buy a truck and you know get it all fixed up and looking good and then probably here and there too if i want to i will do a reaction video especially now i got a green screen but <laughs> um yeah um now one other quick thing is that i did say i was going to be doing a zoom so if you want to participate in that zoom meeting it's going to be at eight o'clock um eastern time and it's also going to be at nine o'clock eastern time and ten o'clock eastern time i'm going to get on there a couple times the meetings are like 40 minutes and then i have to restart it i'm not paying for it so i could but i don't want to so no um so i'm going to actually do three meetings one at eight one at nine and one at ten again this is at eastern time you know i'm from new york so eastern time um hopefully this video is posted by then i'm <laughs> filming this actually like two hours before eight o'clock eastern time <laughs> so it's like six o'clock eastern time right now so don't know if it's gonna actually get posted by then hopefully it does if it doesn't um hopefully you guys were just looking at the community tab when i posted the link um <laughs> anyway so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed this year of me being on YouTube and just leave a comment down below tell me what you want to see in 2024 and I'll make it happen for you okay and see you guys in the next one I love you all